Hello, y'all. Chef Jeff is back with another edition of an old school soul food video here. Uh, today I'm be making cake. Seven up pound cake. It's a popular one. Another request I've got from some subscribers and some fans on my YouTube, on my Facebook channel that won't see seven up pound cake. So that's what I'm gonna make today. So before I get started, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment. I read all the comments. I will uh, respond to you. And uh, please visit my other social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Old School Soul Food, Instagram, Mr. Old School Soul Food, and Twitter, Old School Soul Food. So please subscribe and share my channel. So let me get started here. Like I say, I'm making an old school pound cake. I got a bunk pan, 10 inch bunk pan, I already greased here. So we're gonna get started. It's very easy, very simple recipe. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cream my butter and sugar together first. Very simple. Nothing better than pound cake. And I make cakes, if you follow my Facebook channel, uh, Facebook fan page, you know I make a cake every Friday. Like every Friday I make a different cake when I get home from work or from not at work, usually that afternoon and night I'll make a, make a cake and it sits on my counter. When people come over, they can always have a slice of cake. Okay, we're gonna brush this down here. Make sure this is all incorporated good. Okay. Okay, now, we're gonna add the eggs slowly. I got the eggs here. And this recipe is on the description of the video. So, if I'm not telling you the measurement, just go on the description of the video and I'll have the recipe posted. Be slowly, a few at a time here. Again, I'm gonna scrape the sides down, make sure it's really incorporated really good. This recipe is so easy. Pound cake is the easiest cake you can make. Easiest cake you can make. to make sure my ingredients are fully mixed together. That's why I always scrape beside the bowl and make sure. Now I'm going to add the vanilla and the lemon juice. I'm only adding half of this lemon juice. I'm going to use the other half for the icing for the glaze. We'll see that later after this is, after this is uh, done. Now we're gonna slow it down a little. And I'm gonna add the flour little by little, alternate it with the seven up. Add a little flour. Then I add a little seven up. Add the flour. Now 
And the rest of the filling up. Time to make sure, make sure here. I got everything mixed in here good. And just make sure you scrape down the bottom of the bowl too. You want to make sure everything is fully mixed together. Your cake too much because uh, you have a tough cake. Take the pieces out of here, take this off of here. Say I make cake every week. Different cake. Homemade from scratch. So I can make this in my sleep. And pound cakes are the easiest cake to make. easy that was now we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour it's next about an hour on this it's a very heavy dense cake see how that is i'll put it in the oven about an hour and we'll come back in an hour and check it out just and let it cool about 20 minutes and then we'll glaze it so we'll be right back in an hour all right y'all we back it's been about 65 minutes on this cake. Let's see if it's ready. Oh yeah. Nice golden brown, firm to the touch. See that? Put that right there. And the oven off, let it cool before we flip it out. While we wait for it to cool, I'm gonna make the glaze. The glaze is very simple for this one. I got lemon juice I told y'all I had saved later, the lemon juice and a little 7-Up. And I'm gonna put in this. Put some over in here. And when you're working with powdered sugar, you gotta be very careful because uh, it can be deceiving how much liquid you add. So I'm gonna add a little lemon juice and a little this at a time here. It don't take much. liquid at all. So the cake has to cool about 15 minutes. Before I flip it out, I'm gonna go over something else and I'm gonna put on the glazer. I'm gonna brush on the cake when it comes out warm. I have an old school simple syrup. The recipe is right there on the screen right there. Old school simple syrup. All it is 50% sugar, 50% water. I keep a lot of this already made 
Cause like I say, I make cakes every week. So this is part of my keeping the cake moist and flavorful. Like I said, it's 50% sugar, 50% water. You put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, let it boil five minutes, cut it off and chill it down. That's it, very simple. Like I say, this, this here stuff, I glaze on the cake before I put the icing on it, and it creates a barrier. It, keep, it keeps the cake very, very moist. So this is an important step when you make a lot of cake. So. Anyway, we're going to let this cool about maybe about uh, 10 more minutes, and I'll be back. We'll flip it out. I'll put the simple syrup on there. Then we'll put the glaze on there and see how it looks. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. I think the cake's cool enough here. Okay, here come the moment of truth. Let's see if it'll flip out of here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Nice, beautiful. Okay, as you can see, it's still a little warm. And this one I brushed the, with the simple syrup. Get a nice coating of this stuff on it. But this gonna keep it moist. This would be a big difference in your cake. People will be wondering what happened, why your cake is tastes different than theirs. And this is the secret, the simple syrup. Make sure you put it all over the cake. Completely over it. Get that stuff soak all the way in there. Like that say, all this does is Make your cake very, very moist. And like I said, my cake sits on the counter a few days until the, my friends or the neighbors come and eat it all up. Cause I might eat a couple of pieces, but I don't either eat a lot of cake. Just when visitors come by. That's it. Now we're gonna let this sit here about five minutes here, and we'll be right back and we're gonna put the glaze on it. Okay, y'all, now we're gonna hit it with the glaze that we just made a few minutes ago. Go around it, just like this. Put the glaze on there. There's no oil in this. Just want to make sure you get a little glaze on all of it. Like I say, you want to do this on the cake when it's slightly warm. So the glaze will go really nicely on it down the side. so simple. Cakes are so simple. Some people are intimidated by homemade cakes. They're just so simple. The more you make them, the easier it gets. Like I said, I make them every week. That's it. Very simple. See that? Old school 7-Up Pound cake. Very simple. And we're going to come back in a few minutes. I'm going to let it cool just a little bit more. Then we'll cut the slice and see how it look. Okay, every Friday I make a cake. And let's see how this is. Old school sour cream. Old school, not sour cream. Old school 7-Up Pound cake. See how this come out. Right. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Man. Man, oh man. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and moist. You can see how moist it is. Still warm. Old school. 
seven up pound cake. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. All right, boy. Recipes on YouTube channel. Got the video up. Old school soul food. Slash YouTube. Go try it out. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all share this video. Comment on this video. Like I say, this recipe is very, very easy. Very, very simple. Try it out. Takes no time at all. Like all my recipes, very simple, very easy. Please share the place. Please subscribe. Please comment. Give the thumbs up to this video. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.